Hi, I'm Steve Sample with Bama Talk. Don't miss a single episode of Bama Talk Show available now on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app and on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. This is the Weather Extreme video. This is for Thursday, the 7th of February. James Spann here, and we are getting set for a very changeable, active weather, a little rain today, maybe some heavy rain late in the weekend and early next week, and a big blizzard ahead for parts of the northeast U.S., We'll check some of the Skycam shots. These were captured early this morning at the insane hour of 5 o'clock. That's the uh, Tuscaloosa Skycam. Light rain was falling there. There's the Skycam in Jasper. Pretty much the same deal. Just some light rain, nothing heavy. And down south, rain falling at our Clanton Skycam. Pretty interesting satellite. You can see that uh, shortwave energy coming through the uh, uh, southern states. A little impulse in the northern branch will be phasing up, and that's going to produce a big mess up in the uh, northeast, as you'll see in a minute. That's a radar capture at 5.03 this morning. The most widespread, really heavy rain was uh, along and south of Interstate 59, just some light rain to the north. And clearly, the, the better rain totals today will be over the eastern and southern counties of the state. Temperatures have not changed much overnight, mostly 40s, although Tuscaloosa's got 52. And we'll kind of hover in the 50s much of the day today, maybe reaching 60 later. Around the nation, the uh, cold air is mainly confined uh, just north of the border, up over uh, the eastern half of Canada. But some of that is dipping down into the northeast, and that's one of the ingredients for that big blizzard. There's a blizzard watch, in effect, for parts of Massachusetts, Rhode Island, and Connecticut. And surrounding that, a winter storm watch. And then uh, for that northern branch system, you've got uh, winter storm warnings, in effect, for uh, around Milwaukee, over into parts of central Michigan. And uh, that'll be a very interesting scenario. And again, we'll show you some of the modeling on that in just a minute. Uh, look at here now, day three convective outlook. This is for Saturday. There's a risk of severe weather over Texas. Uh, places like Dallas-Fort Worth involved in that. And beyond that, the, the guys at SPC have no risks in the day four through eight outlook. And I do think the main risk will be heavy rain for us. But there could be a strong storm uh, Sunday night or Monday. And then maybe again Tuesday or Tuesday night, if a secondary low can form. A lot of ifs there, and that's the reason there's no uh, formal outlook there. But rain, yes, we should see a lot. This is the uh, rain expected today through Thursday morning of next week, over the next seven days. Heaviest rain for our state, 5.1 inches down around Dothan and Geneva. And up this way, rain amounts of about two inches. And uh, again, let's get in there and dive into it. This is the GFS, the 06Z run, valid at noon today at 500 millibars. And again, you can see the energy coming through the southeast, the energy up north, and all that phases up. That's going to create that per perhaps historic blizzard. Uh, down below that, the rain should be tapering off during the course of the day today. Um, the rain ending from west to east. And I, I think we might reach low 60s, but I don't think we see any sun. And then the northern system up there producing some uh, light rain and snow and uh, the trailing boundary is going to come through here tomorrow. This is the look tomorrow, and you can see that uh, cold front coming through tomorrow. And, and, you know, that could squeeze out some light rain or a few showers, but not a lot of rain tomorrow. But clearly we'll need to mention at least the chance of a few showers tomorrow. The sky will stay cloudy, and uh, we might see 60. Some folks could stay in the 50s all day. And, yeah, we see that 992 millibar monster lurking off the middle Atlantic coast. This is Friday night at midnight off the GFS. And I'm telling you, this is, you know, clearly some of our folks up there in the Northeast, our friends will be bombarded with rain and snow, clearly. But those big cities, this is a tough call. You know, a lot of times we talk about how hard it is here. It's tough up there. Sometimes, you know, warm marine air gets mixed in. It changes to rain for the big cities like New York City. And you don't get as much snow as you think. Uh, this is not as easy as you think when forecasting for New York City and Boston. Uh, this is the uh, wind speed coming off the uh, NAM after midnight tomorrow night, early Saturday morning. And, man, those winds are just howling. Now, these are 900 millibar winds, uh, so it's not exactly at the surface, but but still. I mean, this is showing winds of greater than, uh, uh, you know, 55, 60 knots over much of that coastal region of New England. And, uh, and then you factor in the snow. That's, that's a blizzard. Uh, this is the snow accumulation coming off the uh, four-kilometer NAM. Uh, and this is uh, through Saturday morning. And it's got those big numbers, the 30-inch-plus the numbers, from Boston north up into uh, Maine. 
Uh, for New York City, it's got the amounts, uh, you know, nine, ten inches up to about a foot. That's a, come on now. That's still a big snow. And this is the NAM, and these numbers are just incredible. I'm sorry, this is the RPM, and these numbers are just incredible. Uh, everything that's red, that's over 36 inches, over three feet. And uh, Boston's got, uh, you know, showing up there about, you know, 25 to 30 inches. So, uh, goodness, we'll keep an eye on that. And that's going to mess up air travel. Uh, clearly, at Logan, it'll be shut down, and many of the New York City airports will have major delays, and that backs up everybody. And the peak intensity of this thing will be tomorrow night into early uh, Saturday morning. All right, uh, this is Saturday back in the big picture here. This is at noon Saturday. This is at 500 millibars. High amplitude pattern, big trough in the west, ridging here. And the big system off the coast, of the upper Atlantic coast, down below that Saturday just looks great. Now, Saturday morning will be cold. We'll start the day around freezing, but we warm up nicely with a high in the low to mid-60s. Sunday, here comes our system lifting out of the west, the uh, surface low near Omaha, with the storms trailing down into Arkansas and uh, uh, Mississippi, Louisiana. And clearly, it, it's going to become windy on Sunday, strong south winds. And clearly, we'll probably see rain beginning to move in here Sunday afternoon. And then by Sunday night, the rain should be relatively widespread. And that rain could be heavy at times. Could there be some strong storms? Yes. Now, the surface low is really displaced north of here, 988 millibars near Minneapolis-St. Paul. So it's not a classic severe weather look, but I'd say the heavy rain would be the, the greater threat at this point. And then Monday, the uh, axis of the heavy rain is along and south of Interstate 20. And then we go to Tuesday of next week. Now, you know, the GFS, every run is looking different. It's model madness. Now the GFS pushes the rain all the way down to the Gulf Coast, and we are dry on Tuesday, which is in direct conflict with other runs that we've seen that, that keep the rain in here. In fact, some runs bring this big wave on the front, and, it, and we might have strong storms and heavy rain again by Tuesday night. But this run says, no, we'll stick with the wetter solution for now. And then on Wednesday, uh, we're dry and, and colder. Uh, highs will drop back in the uh, uh, low 50s with the 540 line almost down to Birmingham. And this is uh, Thursday, a week from today, and that's just uh, cool and dry and sunny. All right, now this is the one everybody keeps, you know, we've been focusing on because of the amazing consistency. Around the 17th or the 18th of this month, the GFS has been showing this thing every run. And there it is. And down below that, uh, it's a snowy look. For the northern part of Alabama, and I mean, that's a big snowy look, but this is the land of voodoo. Don't get excited. You know, this it might latch onto this for a week and then it goes away, but the consistency has been amazing. And again, this is Sunday the 17th, if by chance this is right. On the 20th, another system blows in here. That's a big snow for Memphis and Little Rock, if that's right, and just mainly rain for us. And then on the 22nd, that's out of here. So the pattern looks very unsettled and interesting for the rest of this month. So it'll be fun to watch this all unfold. That's the Weather Extreme video today. We'll be on the road later today, so I doubt we were able to crank out a, another one today. Uh, we've got Storm Alert 2013 that kicks off tonight at Holt High School. And the show begins 6.30. Hope to see many of you there. Uh, we'll be on television, of course, ABC 3340, the TV or the live stream at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless. Who's got time to listen to boring radio shows? If you're going to listen to something, listen to something good, like Eavesdrop. My favorite thing about Christmas is not the presents. No. And it's not the million no. Christmas parties. And it's not playing Dirty Santa. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's it's about relationships. relationships. I know. I know exactly where you're going it, with that. Yeah. It, it just is. It is. And take the time. What if this is your last Christmas yeah. and you never know? Just talking it up. They may use the name Jesus in a terrible way when they hit their thumb with a, you know, <laughs> with a with a hammer by accident on right. Saturday afternoon when they're working on their car. But don't bring Jesus into a song and give him a beer. That ain't right. Hey, I know a few <laughs> of those folks myself. Bama Talk Show. But before we head for the Dome, we got business to take care of at home. So making plans for the throwdown in downtown Atlanta, we'll have to wait until that post-game rammer jammer rings in the postseason for Bama and the off-season for the barn. Auburn unleashed. That magical score that, that Auburn fans remember, 17-16, came out of that game. And Bill Newton was responsible for the, for the chant, punt, Bama, punt. Bill, thank you for joining us. Uh, good afternoon, Adam. I appreciate y'all having me as uh, the first guest on your show. Worldview Matters. 
And you know, we've been talking about a number of things last a couple of times we talked about socialism. We moved from Islam to socialism, and we were going to continue today to do the same thing. But a lot of things have happened in the world in the past 10 days. Uh, it's oh, heated yeah. up again in, in, in Israel. So I thought it would be a good uh, chance for us to talk about some of the things that relate to worldview as it relates to the Israeli situation and Egypt and all that's going on in the Middle East. High School Heroes. And the plane goes right through the bridge and doesn't catch on fire. It's tons of stuff, man. Uh, tons of unrealistic stuff, but hey, it was really cool, actually. Warning, any of these shows can be addictive, and they are all fun. Listen on iTunes, Stitcher, your favorite podcast app, or on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com.